Now, if you're new, just joining into my classes, I always say to do what works best for you and leave what doesn't. We all have our own strengths and limitations, and you know your body best. So if something doesn't feel right or you don't think it's working for you, it's completely okay to omit it. Um, and make sure that you reach out to me after class and let me know. I'd love to provide any feedback that I can to help make your next class uh, that much more approachable for you. So just a heads up on that. As you come into your seated position, take a moment to focus on your posture. Make sure you're sitting flat on your mat. Close your eyes and sit back. Press your tailbone or your pelvis into your mat and roll the shoulders down. going to take a couple of deep cleansing breaths here to come into your space, into your practice. With all the heaviness of the world that surrounds us right now, just take a couple of moments to focus on your body, on clearing your mind, breathing. You can take deep belly breaths in. Maybe bring one hand to your belly and the other to your chest. And try to focus on breathing in through your diaphragm. Fill the belly with air all the way up through your chest. Exhale, slowly let it out through your nose as you deflate through your chest, down into your belly. Allow the muscles in your face to relax. Just honor the simple breath. Or maybe just stillness after a busy day. We'll take one last round of breath as you are. gently blink your eyes open. And bring your right leg out in front or cross it over. Easy seat. Once again, shift and adjust. Make sure you're sitting flat on your mat. Take a deep breath in as your arms rise overhead. Keep your shoulders down. Now exhale, take a side bend to the right. Plant your right hand as you arch over to the right. Reach the left arm over. Inhale through center, arms rise. Exhale, take your side bend to the left. Left hand plants, right arm reaches up and over. Inhale, back through center. Shoulders are relaxed. Now exhale, take a twist to the right. Plant your right hand behind as the left hand comes to rest on your right thigh or your knee. Stay tall in your spine and twist. Keep your arms down as you shift back through center on your inhale. Now exhale, take your twist to the left. Left hand plants, right hand to your left leg.
inhale through center. Draw your belly in as you lift through your ribs. Take your exhale as you rest heavy and pause in stillness. We'll take two shoulder rolls back. So inhale, bring the shoulders up and roll them back. Compress the shoulder blades together. Open up through your chest. One more time, big motion in. Exhale, send them down. Now switch, open up through the shoulders. So change the direction of your shoulder rolls. And take another round. Take your deep breath back through center, gaze forward. Exhale, tuck your chin in towards your chest, gaze down to the earth. We'll stretch and open up through your neck shoulders. Inhale back through center. Continue to tilt your head up. Gaze up to the ceiling. Stretch through the front of your neck now. And take a breath as you focus on your cool air. Inhale, send it down through the throat into the chest. Exhale, back through center. We'll take three rounds of seated cat-cow to stretch and open through your spine. So as you inhale, press your chest forward. Arch your back and gaze up. Now exhale, roll the shoulders. Press the shoulder blades out as you tuck your chin in. Try to stay lifted in your ribs. Two more rounds with your breath. Deep breath in, press your chest forward, gaze up. Exhale to curve inward. Last time with your breath. Something to remember with our slow flow practice is we're slowing down, taking our time to focus on that deep breath. Inhale, back through center, gaze forward. Exhale, rest in stillness. Allow your body to settle. We're going to switch legs. Bring your left leg out in front or on top. Once again, cross your legs in any way that works best for you and your body. We'll shift and adjust. Take a breath to settle in. Press your pelvis down. Bring your shoulders in line with your hips. And we'll come back to the side bend. So inhale, reach your arms overhead. Keep your shoulders down as you lengthen. Side bend to the left. Exhale, left arm plants. Right arm reaches up and over. Draw through center on your inhale. Exhale, take your bend to the right. Try to stay lifted, so lift and bend. back through center. Now exhale, take your twist to the left. Left hand behind, right hand to your leg as you twist. Gaze to the side of your room or maybe back behind. Release the tension in your spine as you surrender. Take your inhale to center. Arms are down. Transition into your twist to the right as you exhale. And take a breath. Mm -hmm. 
Gentle inhale through neutral. Exhale, rest heavy. And pause in stillness. Take another deep breath in and lengthen. Reach the crown of your head forward or up towards the ceiling. Now exhale, tuck your chin in, gaze down to the earth. Allow your shoulders to rest. And focus on that stretch in the back of your neck or upper shoulder blades. Inhale, tilt the head, gaze up to your ceiling. Control as you make your way back through neutral. We'll come back through our shoulder rolls. So two shoulder rolls back. Big motion up. Exhale, press them down and back. Now switch directions. Roll forward. Compress through your chest as you open through the shoulder blades. Take a deep breath through center and lengthen. And we'll come back to our cat, um, seated cat cow. So three rounds to stretch and open through your spine. Press your chest forward and gaze up. Exhale, curve inward, stay lifted. Two rounds with your breath. As you make your way back through neutral, sit tall and take a breath. Go ahead and send both legs out wide for a straddle. Now, you just come to where you are gonna feel a stretch. Remember, everybody's body is different. So if it's just a slight straddle, that's completely okay. Flex your feet as you point your toes up and sit back, sit tall. Now exhale, fold forward. Press your hands into your mat. Tuck your chin under as you lengthen through your spine. And tiptoe forward until you feel a stretch in your hamstrings. And we'll take two deep breaths here. Try to relax the muscles in your legs. Embrace the stretch. Tiptoe your fingers over towards your right leg. Bring your hands to either side of your leg or even up towards your thigh, that's okay. Just to make sure that you can turn to face your right leg. Now exhale, fold forward over your leg. Tuck your chin under, gaze down. Should feel that stretch in your left hip and lower back as well. And take another breath. Inhale back through center, tiptoe your fingers to the front. Now exhale, switch to face your left leg. Same thing, shift your hips, face your leg. Use an exhale to fold. Just to where you feel that resistance in your right hip, in your hamstrings. And take two breaths.
your deep belly breath. Inhale to draw through center. We'll take two more rounds as you fold forward. So two breaths in a forward fold. Gently rise on your inhale. Make your way back through center. Exhale, use control as you bring your legs back together. Shake them out. Come to standing at the top of your mat, Tadasana, or mountain. Take a moment here as you stand. Try to make your stance as active as possible. So root your toes and your heels into your mat. Make sure that your ankles are in line with your hips. Drop your shoulders down and face your palms forward. And take a breath as you stand tall. Inhale, extended mountain. Arms rise overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Reach your arms out to a T as you hinge at your hips and fold. Find a gentle bend in your knees. Rest your head. Shift your weight into your toes. And back into your heels. Find somewhere neutral between the two. Take a halfway lift as you inhale, unbend your knees and tabletop your back. Reach the crown of your head forward. Exhale, refold. And take another breath as you hang heavy. Step your right foot back for a low lunge. Bring your right knee, shin, and toes to meet your mat. Do you find a 90 degree bend here in your left leg? So knee in line with your ankle. Tuck your chin, gaze down to the earth, and shift and adjust until you find your stretch. Take another round of breath here, lengthen through your spine. Now exhale back for plank. Wrists in line with your shoulders, tabletop your back, tighten through your core. Take a deep breath in, lengthen. Exhale, let's flow. We'll flow down to Cobra this evening. Elbows tuck in. Gently bring your chest up off of your mat. Press your feet into your mat. Exhale back, down dog. Reach your tailbone high. Send your feet in slightly, finding that V in the body. Take two reset breaths. Switch sides, inhale, low lunge. Right foot forward this time as your left leg meets your mat. Take a breath to stretch. Runner's lunge, inhale, left knee comes up off of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to the top of your mat and surrender into your fold. Mm -hmm. 
Take your halfway lift, stretch out your back, reach the crown of your head forward. Exhale, refold. Take another breath, focus on that even stance between your toes and your heels. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings, your lower back. Gently rise to standing, extended mountain. Sweep your arms overhead as you inhale. Exhale, heart center, take a breath. We'll run that one more time and then add on. So deep breath in as your arms rise, shoulders down, tailbone tucks under. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Use control as you fold. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, refold. Left foot back this time, low lunge. You can always heel toe your right foot forward slightly or press your pelvis down towards your mat to deepen your stretch. Just remember to keep your knee in line with your ankle. It's a gentle hip opener. Use your exhale to step back for plank. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, let's flow. Flow down to cobra. And back into down dog. Take two reset breaths here. Make sure you can feel a stretch. So hands to the outer edges of your mat, feet in under your body. Step them in slightly if it's a lot of strain on your wrists. You want a nice sharp V with your body rather than a U. left foot forward this time, low lunge. Right leg meets your mat. And take another breath as you stretch. Runner's lunge, inhale, right knee up. Forward fold, exhale, step to the top of your mat and hold. Halfway lift. Exhale, refold. Inhale to rise through standing. Arms sweep up overhead. Heart center. Exhale. Take a reset breath. extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, refold. Now this time step that right foot back and drop your knee down will rise to a low crescent. So tighten through your core and reach the arms overhead. 
Once again, drawing the shoulders down. If you'd like to add a little bit more, we're going to do some open twists. So take your inhale and lengthen. Shoulders back in line with your hips. Now exhale, bring your left arm forward as you swivel the right arm back. Face your palms to the side of your space and lengthen. Inhale, draw back through center. Use your belly. Now exhale, take your twist to the left. Inhale, back through center, deep breath. Exhale, release, low lunge. Pause here for your inhale. Exhale, back for plank. Let's flow. We will meet in down dog. Take your two reset breaths, maybe paddle out your feet or press your chest towards your thighs. And we'll switch sides, right foot steps forward on your inhale. Gently bring your left knee down to meet your mat and rise, low crescent. You may always bring your hands down to your knee here if you need more support or flip the toes back down onto your mat if you have a sensitive knee. We're going to take those twists again, so deep breath, lengthen, exhale, twist to the left this time, right arm forward, left arm sweeps back, face your palms to the side of your space, inhale, center. Exhale, take your twist to the right. Inhale, back through neutral. Exhale, release, low lunge. Use your inhale to bring your left knee up off of your mat. Runner's lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, stretch it out. Exhale, refold. Inhale, rise to standing. Draw a circle up as you inhale. Exhale, heart center. One round of breath. And we're going to run that one last time. And then we'll come into your stretch and your Shavasana. Deep breath in, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. And refold. Left foot back this time. Make your way right into your low crescent. Tighten through your abs. Root your toes as you rise. Exhale, open up to the left. Make your way over through the right. Pause for your breath at center. Exhale to twist. Remember to keep your abs engaged, your feet planted. Inhale through center. Exhale, release. 
low lunge. Go ahead and use your exhale to step back for plank and find your last flow of the class. Flow down to cobra and back into down dog. down dog to reset. Last time, left foot forward. Gently bring your right knee down and rise. Low crescent. Exhale, twist to the right. Shift through center on your inhale. Exhale, open up to the left. Draw through center. Keep your shoulders down as you lengthen. Exhale, release. Runner's lunge, right knee up, and forward fold. Surrender into your fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Take a breath. Go ahead and make your way onto your back. And plant your feet for constructive Shavasana. Take a deep breath as you shift and adjust. Exhale, find stillness and surrender into your mat. Take a reclined bound angle. Bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to splay open. Send your breath to your hips, to your pelvis. Send your breath down through the hamstrings to your calves. and take another round of breath as you are and see if you can't relax just a little deeper. Plant your feet and bring your knees back through center on your inhale. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Tuck your chin under. And take a few breaths here. Take a full body 
stretch. Send your legs long as you reach your arms overhead. And gently settle into Shavasana. Keep your eyes closed as you shift and adjust. And rest comfortably on your mat. Unfurrow your brow. And release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Allow your shoulders and your arms to relax. Release your fingers one by one. Take a deep belly breath in. And use a full breath exhale to rest and settle your ribs and your spine. Allow the bones of your pelvis to surrender into your mat. And send a soothing wave of relaxation through your legs, down to the tips of your toes. Continue to focus on taking steady breaths through your nose. Continue to relax your body. And to enjoy stillness. Never regret a day in your life. Good days give you happiness, and bad days give you experience. to bring your awareness back to your space and to your body. Take a breath to pause in gratitude for your practice. For taking this time for yourself this evening. For slowing down. Thank you for allowing me to be a part
part of your healing, part of your practice. Tonight, I leave you with the mantra, so hum. I am that. Thank you.